Today's date is 11-17-2017. We're at 18010 Horse Road in Michicot, speaking with Bobby Dassey. It's approximately 9.20 in the morning. Bobby, you don't have to speak with us if you don't want to. Do you understand that? If you tell us that at any time you don't want to talk anymore, we'll be glad to go. No harm, no fall. All right? Okay. Perfect. Is it Robert? No, it's Bobby. It is Bobby. So, B O B B Y. Yep. Middle name? Anthony. Anthony. D A S S E Y. Yep. White male. Your birthday? 10 18, 1986. 18. You said 96? 86. I'm sorry. 86. And so, again, it's 18010 Horse Road in what type of? Michigan. Michigan. Is this, this isn't Kiwani County yet, is no. it? It's still We're like a mile from it. Okay. Like a mile north is Kiwani then. So what, what county? This is Manitowoc. It is Manitowoc. Okay. What's the zip here? 54228. And the phone number? 228. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, and what's the phone 920. number? 920-973-1742. Mm -hmm. And where are you working at, by the way? I work at Federal Mobile. That's what I was trying to do. Piston rings, right? Yep. Federal Mobile? Yep. That's in Manitowoc, is it? Federal Mogul. Mogul. M-O-G-U-L, right? Yep. That's in Manitowoc. Okay. But it's all, well, I just started a couple months ago at the UPR. It's a sister company across the street. Oh, really? It's Doing what? Maintenance. Nice. So... But nice. It's a sister company, so it's, it's all federal mogul, but perfect. You were what second shift? Third shift now. Oh, that's right. You told me on the phone. Yeah. Does that work out better for you, daycare wise? Yeah, daycare. Yeah. That's good. That, that'll eat you alive. You know, oh, you yeah. want to you want to pay people. That, <laughs> that gets pricey. Yeah. You well, just got the two guys here. Yeah. I, yeah, that's enough. To help. Yeah, I you get like three hours of sleep a day. <laughs> oh my god! I remember it's, those days. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah days. that's no. But it's but you know what? It's worth it in the long run. Yeah, I see it as I get to spend more time with them. That's it. So, that's exactly cool. right. Yeah, exactly right. Hey, so you have three other brothers, and you are second oldest. Second or? oldest. Yeah. Okay, so second oldest. I was trying to remember who's the oldest. Brian. Is Brian. Yeah, it's Brian, me, Blaine, and I'm Brennan. Okay, so Blaine is older than Brendan. Yep. Okay. All right. Come here, buddy. Are these guys going to go to Michicot School if you stay here? That's good. Michicot or Denmark or Kiwani. That you kind of what? You're in kind of an area here, and, and you got the open enrollment still in. Is I that it? I assume, yeah. Perfect. He goes to Maribel right now for mm -hmm. uh, 3K. Oh my God, 3K. <laughs> They're starting to be young. Look at you! What is that? That's wow. That's what that I mean. is slick. Does that shoot water? No. Dark. Dark. the light. Just the oh, light. light. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me look. I love it's, those things. That's a smoking gun. You <laughs> <laughs> were shooting turkeys with it the other day. Really? <laughs> you got turkeys out here too? Mm -hmm. Jeez, it's a hunter's paradise. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. So your mom is Barbara Tadich, correct? Yep. Did she tell you that we talked to her? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I know that um, we're going to ask you some questions. We got some questions here written down that uh, John. I, and, and, you know, I, if you are offended, I, I'm sorry, but it's my job to ask, okay? And I, it's nothing personal. We're not trying to get you to say anything that you don't want to say or that's not truthful. All, all we're looking for here is honest answers. And it's, I've talked with you before and that's all I asked for at that time. And I will just go from there and that'll be great. When you were hunting in October of 2005, you were hunting where? I was hunted on Nola Miller's land. What's Nola? Nola Miller. M U E or M I L? Oh, I can't even tell you. I think and, it's you. you okay. Know. And is she the, she the property owner? Yes. 
She did she did she own like that trailer where Scott was living yes. as well? That's actually where I was hunting. Were you hunting in a deer stand or yes. out of a blind? Okay. Out of a stand. How old were you then in two thousand five? I'd be in eighteen. Just turned eighteen. 18th is my birthday. So where, where were you working at that time? Fisher Hamilton. Okay, when you were on uh, what shift was that? I worked third shift. And what time was that? 10 to 6. Okay, did they close? Yeah. Or they, they did? Yeah, they closed. They went to Mexico. Really? I don't even exactly remember what when what date they closed. I worked there for like I think seven months. Okay. So I was on third shift for like three or four, and then they then they closed the doors. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Do you remember on the thirty first of October driving? Did you did you meet anybody on the way out to where you hunting that you remember and and know? I saw Scott. Saw Scott. Do you remember where about that was? I want to say it was kind of by Jamble Creek Road. Okay. Is there any kind of a feature there that you'd remember? The gravel, the big gravel pit. Okay. What time of day was that, do you think? Uh, yeah. Around 3 in the afternoon, 2.45. Two, yeah, around three, I think. I don't remember it exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's 3 p.m., yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't be hunting near <laughs> three in the morning. No. And you'd be at work anyway. Yeah. Did you know or had, did you ever met, meet mm -hmm. Teresa Halbach? Never. Okay. Did, she, did you know she was coming to take pictures that day? Nope. Did you see her on, on the Avery property? Yes. Okay. Where? She was parked kind of in front of our our house. On the, it would have been the north side of our house, northwest side of our house, on the opposite driveway, on the opposite other side of the driveway where the van was parked. Was that close to somebody else's? trailer on the property where she was parked? Yeah, where Stephen lived. You mean by a van, what, what van are we talking about? Um, my mom had a, I don't remember the exact year, a maroon Dodge Caravan, I believe it was. Okay. And what, what was she doing? When I seen her, she got out of the vehicle and she was taking pictures of the, of the van. Okay, and what were you doing? I was just about to get ready to shower so I could go hunting. Okay. So you saw her through a window or? Yeah, through the front window. There's a big bay window in the front in the dining room. Okay. Were you dressed, wrapped in a towel, or? or no, I was you? dressed. I I was just just about to go take a shower. Who else was in your residence at that same time? It had been just me. Okay. And. You jump in your shower. Oh, I, for me, I dawdle in the shower because I like take the shower. So how long does it take you normally? Do you think? A couple. It was only a couple minutes. Then yeah, you got out of the shower. Did you look at that time to see her, or were you getting dressed and getting? I got. Ready? I got dressed, and then I looked out the window again, and that's when I seen her walking towards Stevens' trailer. Oh. Yeah, that's going to sound good on the recorders. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
We understand that. Did you see anyone else? Did you see Stephen at that time? No, I did not. Okay, anyone else in the area there? Nope. Okay, so how long are you looking out the window to see her walk towards the Stevens trailer? Just a couple seconds. And was she at the trailer, or where was she exactly during those couple seconds? She was maybe almost halfway there. And then after those couple seconds, then what did you do? Walked out the door and got in my truck to go hunting. Let me ask you this, Bobby. When you were getting in your truck to go hunting, where was she? I didn't see her. So like I said, at that point, I didn't know what she was doing there, why she was there. So I, I really didn't pay any attention after that. Sure. Because you know, mm -hmm. it's like I have no idea who it is. So, you know, I didn't. Mm -hmm. And was her car, or her car or vehicle still there? Yes, her vehicle was still there when I left. Was she now inside of Steven's trailer? I or honestly couldn't tell you. Just don't know where she I was. just don't know where she was. Did you hear anything? No. Okay. Had you seen Stephen at his residence prior to that? No, I did not. I said I was sleeping, that's all. Okay. So I slept and I woke up and then I showered, you know, got ready to go hunting, so. And you, and you said you had permission to hunt on, on Nola's property? Yep. driving out, um, well actually, if you don't mind for me, you okay with drawing something for us? Sure. Um, let's see, you know, I'll tell you what, I'll start writing with this, you can write with that one. If you can just put where your um, residence was, where Stevens is, and then the like little driveway out, and where you remember cars, if you can. Okay. I think you can do that. Yeah, he'll help, won't he? Yeah, he will. <laughs> uh, yeah, he likes a pen with paper, right? Yeah. Well, you, these are very easy-going boys, or is this just an exceptional day? Uh, no, Deacon's pretty easy-going all the time. And that's wonderful. Well, of course, he has his moments, but he's, well, he's a four-year-old boy. He's you know, four. They're both. We get awesome that. So. Uh oh. Oh, he, he was having fun being uh, my <laughs> yeah. dad. No, it's not so fun. Not, well, I'll find something to do with your dad. Yeah, there's some cool stuff over there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we were going to be taking fire while we were uh, sitting here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he likes his, he yeah, likes his guns. Uh oh. Oh, hey, bud. It's all right. Yeah. I'll draw this quick again. Okay. Okay, this is Steven's trailer. Okay. This is our house. So is that a house or a trailer? Well, ours was actually a house. Yours this is house. Steven. Steven's okay. was a trailer. Steven's was a trailer. Is this yeah. another trailer? This is a garage. This garage. Okay. This is our garage. Okay. My my truck was parked right here. Okay. So this is my truck. Okay. I, I believe I had a black blazer back then. Okay. It was, I had I had two trucks back then. I had a, like shortly after I got a green Ford Ranger, but I'm pretty sure I had the black okay. black right. truck then. Okay. So the, the van would have been parked right here. You want to label that mom's van then, if that's what that is. All right. And then Teresa kind of parked right here. Okay, I'm going to label that Teresa. Baseball if that's what it T E R E S A. Okay, so and then um, where's the main road? Right here. 
this is the so this is that uh, Avery Road, right? Yeah. No, what was it? What was it called again? That's yeah, just, just the drive. Just a drive where, where's the road to get to the main road? Way this way. Here. Okay. Yeah, and then 147 is yeah, that okay. So when you leave, you got to go this way, so you don't yeah. have to go past her car. No, I backed out, backed out here, and mm -hmm. then went this way. Okay. And then out. Okay. All right, great. Which way is north? Can you just show what way north is up there, Bobby? Perfect. Good. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Thanks for doing that. I got a better so. So where's the window that uh, the you window would look be, out of? Let's see, the window would have been like right here. Okay. And is that a window in your front room, living room, bedroom, um, bathroom? Dining. It would have been our dining room. Dining room. You live by dining room, so that's how you saw her through that? Because that was the only time you saw her was while looking out the window, yep. correct? Because when you looked out again, or wait, wait, actually it was twice, right? You saw her arrive, take pictures, and then... And I have it written here. Yep. And then you also saw her while well, she was halfway. She was like halfway towards Stephen's cabin. Okay. Yeah, did you see her leave? No. I left before her. she did. When you got back from hunting, was her car still there? No. What time did you get back? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what time it got dark back then. Between 5.36 probably. So her car was gone. Yep. Oh, did um, Stephen have a car that he used to park somewhere on here? I, or did he park I in a garage? Don't. He or? usually, if he did have a car parked there, he parked it in front of the garage here. Okay, but you don't remember? I don't remember, no. Okay, all right, but, so when you come back, what about your mom's van? Is that still there? That's still there, yeah. Okay. So Teresa's car gone, mom's van still there. What are you trying to be? Oh, a dinosaur? <laughs> okay, go watch your veggie tales, baby. Did it look like the mom's van had moved at all or exact same spot? Um, it looked like it was in kind of the same area. Okay. Do you remember talking with Brian? about seeing Teresa leaving. No, nope. never talked to Brian about that. You're sure? Yep. Never talked to him about Never it. talked to him about Not it. at any time? Never. Why would he say something like that? Your guess is as good as mine. You guys get along? Or is there For the most part, yeah, we don't. Okay. I mean, we don't see each other as much as I would like, but, you where's, know. Where's he live? He lives on Crystal Springs Road, just out of Two Rivers. why he would say that you said that to him? I honestly don't know. I wish I knew. Did you ever ask him why he said that? Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know when he said it, if he said it way back then or if he said it now. Okay. Did you ever have a conversation with Brian about seeing her at any time, like what you just told us? No. So you never really talked to him about Teresa, or no. even after the fact when it was like a big deal. It's still a big deal, of course, but yeah. I'm just saying when like, your family was being looked at and they're looking for her, you never said, hey, Brian, I did see a girl here, any of that stuff? Never happened? Not that I remember. How about anybody in the family? I told my mom and all that, you know. And you told her basically what? Same thing I told you guys. Great. When did you tell her? Was this like? The same day. Because I obviously didn't know why someone was there to take pictures of her mm -hmm. van, you know? So. Did she know somebody was there to take pictures? Did she seem like, huh? Or did she seem like, I, oh, I knew about that? I honestly don't know. But that same day, yeah, by the same day, it was like 10.31.05, the day that... It was around within one or two days of that date. Yeah. Because I, I remember asking her why 
why are you even selling it, you know? It had like 220 some thousand miles on it. It was pretty much junk, you know? Mm -hmm. So. But you don't remember her like, well, I'm selling it because I need money or I got a new car or? Yeah, it's, we, us kids actually drove it. Oh, you guys, she didn't drive it? No. Oh, okay. So, I mean, what did she say about that or why, why it was? I honestly don't remember. Okay. That's so long ago. Did you use the, your mom's computer when you were at home? I honestly don't remember either. If I did, it wasn't often. Do you remember what kind of computer it was? It was just a, one of them big ones. I have no idea. Desktop? Laptop? Uh, it was a des desktop. Do you ever go on the internet? I honestly don't remember if we had the internet back then. Was it the only computer in the house? Yes, I think I think so, yes. Who was the main user of that computer? Everybody shared it. Who like who was like always Blaine and Brennan would always play on it. Okay. But everybody could use it. Yeah. But Blaine and Brennan would do what on it? Play games and stuff like that. Where was it located in the house at that time? Was it in an open area or in someone's bedroom? I believe it was in the living room. So you had like a computer desk or where? Yeah. Better go grab him. Yeah. Okay. Eighteen years old, <clears throat> healthy young man. Some things are way understandable. Did you ever download any pornography from your mom's computer? No. But just view it, just tape, I'll go and move, move girls. I mean, yeah, you're 18, every, mm -hmm. every kid, looked, every teenager looks at porn. Have you ever looked at it on your mom's computer? I honestly don't remember. Maybe, I don't know. Well, if you would have, <clears throat> let, me, let me refresh that a little bit. If you would have looked at on your mom's computer, you would have had it some sort of internet connection then, correct? Yeah, probably. Okay. I said it was 12 years ago. I can't. Yeah, okay. You guys remember that day? You remember what you did on that day? You Absolutely I mean? not. That's I get it. Exactly. You're doing extremely yeah, yeah, you're well, Bobby. You have got, you're, you got a lot of detail that, mm -hmm. you know, it's understandable you'd have it because it's a pretty important yeah. day in your life. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you're, I, yeah, I also understand yeah. that it's a long time ago. It's and been you 12 years remember. trying to forget that, you know, yeah, because exactly. it's, it's been terrible for me, not only me, my brother's brothers too, you know, everybody. Do people look at your last you. name and then. Yeah, they hate you because you're your last you. name. Yeah. That's awful. You know? I agree. Yeah. It's like I never did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awful. You know, I try to be the best guy that I can to everybody and it's like, well, your name's Assy, so you must be a bad person, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, well, you some know, folks, just, I, what can you say? Some folks are very narrow minded. Yeah. Yeah. So, all I can, that's the only commentary I can give on that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, do you know of anybody, any of your family members that may have downloaded pornography on, you, on your mom's computer? Uh, um, maybe Blaine or Brennan did? I don't know. I said there was there was five guys that lived in the house, so it's yeah. like, you know, it could have been any one. Did Stephen have uh, internet and uh, computer or I, something in his trailer? I don't know. How often would you be in his trailer? Not very often. Get along with him back then, or? Thought he was different, or would have issues with him. Or some days, you know, some days he would go off on you, but otherwise, yeah, I got all of them. Got along. You said there were five guys. You got three brothers, so that would be four. 
Who's the fifth guy? Tom. Tom. Yonda. Oh, so your mother's ex husband. Ex husband, yep. He got divorced in September. How'd you get along with Tom? Good. How'd you get along with Scott? No, good. Not always? Back then, no, I didn't talk to him. Really? No. Is that, okay. Why? Is that he, because? He didn't like kids. Back then, I kind of, I just knew who he was. That's about it. Uh, and from what, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, from what I understand, it, that relationship was pretty fresh in, in between Scott and your mom. And yeah, I, like a um, couple of months or two. Okay. Was Tom already out of the house on um, October 31st? I believe so, yeah. I think he moved out sometime in September. Okay. How often would Scott be over? Hardly ever. Mom would always go by him. But you boys knew that she was dating Scott? Yeah. Computer literate are you? you? You know your way around a computer, okay? You know you can, a little bit. Not, do you know to? Not a like, genius. To, well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know how to create files and such? Like a folder and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who created? There's a, a picture. That is slick. A picture in a folder that has Teresa. And then right next to it, Steve, with their names underneath. Do you know anything about that folder? I have no idea. You don't know who created it? Nope. Couldn't tell you. Okay. Do you know when Jody Stokowski got out of jail? Do you remember that at all? No, okay. I didn't even know she was in jail. Jody was Scott's girlfriend. I uh, was Steve's girlfriend at the time. Yeah, I remember. I remember her being Steve's girlfriend, but I don't remember her being in jail. Okay, I she was. Okay, she, I I'm O W I. Okay, see, I couldn't even tell you. I, I have no idea. Okay. Can't tell me something you don't know about. That's good. <laughs> yep. Do you know who created the folders on your mom's computer that were labeled Teresa, and then another one named Paul Bach, and a third folder named DNA? I have no idea. Did you? No. Okay. Like I said, at that point, I had no idea who she was. Anything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, that could have been created any time between the time that all this w uh, went on in October and the time that the computer was searched in April. Okay. Yeah. I Nothing? I'm going to do with it. Okay. Did you ever hunt on the Redant property or in the gravel pit? No. What about off of Cliss Road? Off of what? Cliss Road. The little... Cliss Road. Go down, what is that, B or R, right? If you go west on 147 from your grandpa's house, there's okay. a, cro a, a county trunk that goes south. What, are, what is that, R or B or what? That's Q. Q, and if you turn left, there's a little roundabout. Kind of, you can see Steve's trailer from okay, the roundabout. Okay, I think I know what you're talking. And it's a little roundabout area. They call it Cliss Road. Did you ever hunt off there at no, all? never. I didn't even know that was called Cliss Road. Okay. Still to this day, tell you the truth. <laughs> How far away are you now from that? How far is that from here? Maybe 
10 miles, maybe? 8 to 10 miles? I'll show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> I'm getting out a map that I printed uh, at some other point in all of this. If I can find it, that would be even better. Ah, here it is, I think. No. Well, I mean, it, I'll date it. Yeah, date it. And it's, uh, it looks like it's 9.51. All, over, buddy. all right well yeah it's it's you can kind of see Stevens trailer from okay. from that little roundabout there yeah I don't know if they're dry yet <laughs> what's he looking for Bobby yeah yeah tractors out in the sandbox oh but I, uh, oh they're all sand that'll work okay. those are really cool Remember my boys having small tractors like that. That's really cool. Fun. Yeah, he's got a little bit of everything, don't ya? Cool. You have more toys than Daddy ever did. <laughs> you gotta, gotta yeah. spoil your kids, right? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this kid, Mike, these kids are my life. No. Awesome. I'm gonna orient this for ya. North is this way. Here's Steven's trailer. Okay. Here's where your mom lived, and you lived, and here's your garage. This is Chris Road over here. Okay. You ever hunt off of that at all? Nope. Okay, cool. Can you go put it in another room, buddy? Please? Did you ever see Teresa after? I know you said you came back and she wasn't around. Ever see her? Nope. Any point? Never. Never ran into her at all. Never. Honestly, didn't know who she was until the missing person thing came up on the okay. TV, on the news. So when you come back from hunting, you said it was, it was like dusk or something? Yeah, like five dark, something? dark. It was dark out? Okay. They Did you it. see anything going on on your property? Was there, um, did you see any of your family members like Stephen or anyone hanging outside doing something? Not that I can recall. No. Do you remember seeing a fire at Stephen's? When I left for work, I did. Okay. So what time was that? Um, I usually left work about, for work about 9.20, 9.25. Who was at the fire? Did you see who was there? Was two there? people I I couldn't tell you who exactly they were. Can you uh, show on this map again where the, the, the little? Oh, I'm sorry. Where the oh, little, from the, oh, okay. From the, yeah, no problem. Where the okay. fire was? The uh, fire would have been back here. So behind the garage. Yeah. Behind Steve's garage. Steve's right? garage. Yes. Okay. Okay. And Got he it. always burned stuff there? It was like a yeah, it was actual like pit or it was fire pit, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And you, I missed it. What time did you say you left for work? In between about usually nine twenty, nine twenty five. About a fifteen, twenty minute drive to work. Okay. So you always give yourself some leeway, you know. Did you know either Ryan Hillegas or Scott Blade run? No. Okay. Nope. Yeah, have you ever met him? Nope. Either one of them. Nope, neither one. Okay. And you said your mom's computer, to your best of your knowledge, was located where? I believe it was in the living room. Was it ever in one of your bedrooms? No. Our bedrooms weren't big enough. Let me ask it, was it ever in your bedroom? No. That, that's a more fair question. No. We had like a 10 by 12 bedroom with two boys sharing it. So there really wasn't much room once you put sure. beds in it and then a dresser and stuff like that. So Who did you share a room with? I shared a room with 
Brian, I believe. And then Blaine and Brennan shared a room. And eventually Brian moved downstairs. So then I had a room to myself for a little while. Was that after 2005 or? That was four. I don't. Was um, that before you turned 18 or? Probably close to so right might, at that time. Okay, so you might have had your own room in October 31st. Yeah, I might have, yeah. Was there, is there, like, if, I don't, I've never been in that. Is, that, is there a finished basement in there? Is that, like, poured walls or block It's poured. Walls? It's okay. Poured. It was poured, yeah. It was somewhat finished to my knowledge. Okay. It had a couple walls downstairs in Who used the computer most? We've already discussed that your brothers used it. Bobby, uh, uh, Blaine, and at that point, I right. really didn't have a reason to use it. I worked okay. full time, third shift. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever worked third shift. Oh, I did. You try to sleep it's as much as you can. Yeah, it's, it's, a like, it's still like a miserable die, existence. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. How, you know. Yeah. I now, I, you know, besides the sleep, I enjoy third shift. It's you know the people I work are a lot easier going and. Yep. Stuff like I that. I worked you third know. shift from 22 years old until pretty much mid 30s, and I had to go back to it at 40 years old, and I thought I was going to die. It was yeah. totally different. As soon as you get a little bit older and mm -hmm. not getting that sleep that you truly need at that age, yeah, I it did not work well for me in my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get all. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, it has its challenging days, that's for sure. I'm going to ask you straight up, Bobby. Do you, why is why do you think that all this is coming up about you and, and uh, Ms. Zellner is talking about Scott as well being suspects in this? Why do you think that's happening? I honestly don't know. The only thing I can think of is because we testified, you know, the, the state had us testify against Stephen. No, that wasn't my choice. The two of you? Yeah. Only the two of you? Scott um, and yourself? I believe so. Okay. I know Scott and I both for sure. I don't, oh. I don't know if there was anybody else or not. And, you know, I got subpoenaed to testify. I had no choice. Right. I had to. Exactly. So I, I don't know if, I don't, I honestly don't know. Did you make anything up when you testified? No. You told, you told everything, what? Everything I told was truth. I had I have no reason to lie. Was Stephen mad at you for testifying? Like, did you hear jailhouse I honestly, phone I can't calls tell that you. Stephen's way pissed at you? Or I can't. I can tell you. you have I actually know? haven't stopped. I haven't talked to Stephen since. Okay. Well, actually, the last time I seen him was in the courtroom. Okay. And why is that? Just that never on his visiting list or anything. Okay. Do you have an opinion as to Stephen's guilt or innocence? I honestly, some some ways tells me he did it, and some ways tells me he doesn't. You know. You know, there's there's iffy parts of the of the case. Obviously, everybody knows that. You know. The whole Netflix thing was the Manitowoc County planted evidence, and it's like now they're coming after me for something. Nobody, you know, don't misunderstand. I'm not coming after you for anything. I'm just out here trying to get the facts. And, I understand. You know, and a good, you know, get get the truth. That's all. Okay, only two, buddy. Yeah, it just, and, and for me, it's, you know, you, we had to live with it back then. And it's like, now I just got to go through it again. Mm -hmm. And now I got these two little guys. Yeah. They got my last name. They're going to go to Michigan. How are they going to get treated, you know? Fortunately, I think um, that it's a, it's a much gentler time than when you grew up. And I don't, I don't think that there's quite as much of, uh, what can I say, a stigma that's attached with this stuff. People understand it, and, and they just understand more than they did back when you were growing up for sure when I was growing up. I grew up in a very intolerant time. 
and you had the experience to some of that, and that's unfortunate. But hopefully, hopefully society's getting a little better than when you yeah. grew up. And I know it has since when I did. Mm -hmm. I said to people that know me, they don't treat me any different. They know that I'm a good guy. Mm -hmm. They know I didn't. I didn't have nothing to do with it, and nor would I ever do anything like that. You know, yeah. I'm the type of guy that would give my shirt off my back to anybody. You know, that's that's how yeah. I've always been. Sure. You know. We knew we had to ask that question because they're saying you're involved. Yeah. So our yeah. question to you is, are you involved in the death of Teresa Halbach? And no. your answer is? No. It had nothing to do with it. Did anybody ever ask you to help them in disposing of the body? One day, I picked up a roadkill and my, my buddy Mike and I were skinning it out, and I, I believe this was the same day that the news it was on the news that Teresa went missing. Stephen walked over, and, and at that time I thought he was joking around, asked if we wanted to help get rid of the body. He said, do you want to help get rid of the body or a body? A what body. Say? I believe it was a body. Do you want to help get rid of my body? What day was that? Let's see, I don't, I don't, honestly don't remember what day she went missing. That day we called it missing. Was it, was, did that conversation, when did that conversation take place? Was it the day after you had the deer tag or the same day the deer tag? It's the same, the same day. We, were, we just got done hanging it up and we were starting to skin it out. Okay. So it, it was whatever day she went missing. I honestly don't remember. So by you saying the same day she went missing was the same day that what, media started yeah, talking? Yeah, the media started talking and, and it was on the news and stuff. Okay, and it was the same day that you, you picked up the roadkill deer? Yes. Okay. And where was this being skinned? In, in our garage. Not Stevens. No, our garage. garage. Our garage, garage yeah. yeah. So you're guessing, and I guess is fine, around November 3rd ish. What time? Yeah. It was uh, afternoon. Was it uh, weekend, even, weekday? I don't even remember what day it was. Okay, so you were there with your buddy Mike. Was that, yeah. What's his name? Like what? Mike Osmondson? You still see Mike? Yep. Good. Still good buddy. Here. His family treats me like I'm a son. That's you know, hang on to that. That's special. It is true. Ooh, that's a good story, huh? <laughs> so Stephen came in alone? Yep. Okay. And what was your response when he said that bad of you? He told him no. Did he laugh like how? Yeah. That's why I thought it was a joke. Okay. And I don't know why someone would joke about that. You know? Yeah. Did you ever see Jody Stokowski at your, at your mom's trailer? At our house? Yeah. Or at your house, I'm sorry. Um, I honestly don't. Maybe she'd been there. I don't, I don't know. She might have been, you know, stopped in for a little bit and stuff. But otherwise, you know. Okay, so again about that. Um, so after the laughing, like it was a joke, did he stay there with you and help you skin it? Or was no. it a turn right around? Turn right around out? and he walked out. Okay. So you think he came in there for like the shock factor to get a laugh out of somebody? I think so, yeah. That was kind of Steven's personality, you know. He was one of them types of guys that only really cares about himself. When he said that, had you already heard it on the news? So you were like, that's no. not funny? No. So this was just This was just that. Yeah. This was just okay. prior. It was that night then we saw it on the news. Anything you see suspicious out of any family members or anyone? 
after October 31st that was out of the ordinary? For me, no. No? Okay. So the only out of the ordinary thing would have been Stephen's sick joke. Yep. But no other, like, hanging out in the yard longer than usual, hanging by the fire pit longer than usual, collecting ashes from a fire pit, no. um, anything that was just like, that's not a common occurrence. No. You can go potty. Yeah, no. Okay, just close the door. If you knew that a family member did something as awful as killing somebody, would you tell the truth or would you help yes, cover a family? Nope. else we forgot to ask you? That you're like, when I gave my statement back then, I hope it didn't come out wrong, or um, I remembered something after years later that might be pertinent. Um, anything that someone else said that you heard that's like, that ain't right, that's a lie. Did you watch the uh, anything on TV regarding this case? Like, did you watch Making a Murderer? No, I did not. Okay. How about any other documentaries it's from TV shows that talked about it for a few minutes? Um, I think the only thing I ever watched was Dr. Phil. I watched like 10 minutes of it when, when he was whatever. But, you know, you can't believe none of it. Anything that you ever heard that you're like, that's not how I saw it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't watch the Netflix thing because of, you know, for me. I lived in it, you know, mm -hmm. so I didn't have to watch it, you know. You know, for me, I'm at to the point where, you know, Zellner can blame me all she wants. Deep down inside, I know I didn't do it, you know. Yeah. And that's, that's the only way I keep going on every day. It's because I know I didn't do it. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, it sucks that people are trying to pin it on me mm -hmm. and Scott. Or, you know, it's like, how many people can you blame it on before you run out of people? And she tried to blame it on the ex-boyfriend, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... Has anybody treated you differently since this new accusal came out recently around town here? Or? No, not. Okay. I said the people that know me don't, they know that I didn't do it. So they, they know I'm a good person. They don't mm -hmm. treat me any different. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, people that don't know me, they might look at me different. I, you know, and at this point in my life... I don't care what people think of me, you know, because I go to work, I come home, I take care of my boys, I go back to work. That's mm -hmm. all I do nowadays, you know. Sure. Once in a while I get to go out hunting and I'm like, yay, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but that's about it, you know. Yeah. This is my life right here. Yeah, sure. And it's a good life, sure. you know. It's a good life. Yeah, you have a beautiful house. Very Thank nice. you. Wonderful nice. boys. Yeah, life's good. Yeah. Uh, how about visiting with Brendan? Brendan and I visit. Yeah. Um, Not as much as I would like, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's hard because I work third shift, my wife works first shift. Sure. She gets home at 7 o'clock at night. I usually lay down at 7.30 to take a nap, sure. and I don't get much sleep. Sure. So we don't see each other. You know, weekends are the only time we see each other, and that's the only time I can go see Brendan. Sure. Yeah. He ever, did he ever tell you that, God, I wish Stephen would have let me in this, or did he ever say anything? <laughs> Stay quiet. From day one, Brennan swears he never did anything. Okay. I've never heard him say. I've never heard God, him say. why did I hear? No. Nope. Okay. He's always swore that he's he never did anything. <laughs> so I said that. The investigators got in his head. That's all he's ever said. Okay. Right, okay. It's okay. You got anything else, Jeff? We covered. Yeah. You covered were, all your questions. You were amazing. Yeah. You got a memory. Yeah, thank you very much. Hard you, to forget. Thanks, you know, thanks really for talking with us. Yeah, thank you. You know, I just want, the one thing I want is my name to be clear. Mm -hmm. You know. I get that. And if you guys can help me do that, then so be it. But, well, I'll you tell know. you what we want. We want justice for Teresa, for whoever did it. I do and too. if you didn't do it, we want absolute justice for you, that yep. you don't have to yep. be accused of something you didn't do. So we don't ever, I'm saying we and 99.9% .9 of law enforcement, just want to get the person that's responsible for doing the really bad deed. Okay, so believe me, we're not looking to let's get a gotcha on Bobby and boy, we got something good on you. No, we just want to tell us the truth like you did and we're good to go. So we appreciate you meeting with us. And I, I neglected to
identify the other individual on the tape. It's Special Agent Jeff Wish from D DCI. It's now 10, 10 hours, and we're going to conclude the interview. Thanks very much, Bobby.